Hello everyone. Through this video, we'll discuss one of the most important and interesting concept in Java that is interthread communication in Java. So basically, why we need interthread communication? This is otherwise known as cooperation among the threads. Okay. So what is the meaning of cooperation and why cooperation is required? So there may be some situation like a common resource is available and that resource is shared by user A, user B and user C. And actually the output of this particular common resource depends on the execution of other threads. Clear? Yeah. So whenever A will execute this portion of code which is common to other threads also. Now others have to wait till A is not completing. Similarly, whenever B will execute in this section of code, other threads have to wait. Okay. So that is known as thread synchronization. So to achieve synchronization, inter-thread communication is one medium. Okay. Now this common section of code is actually known as critical section. Okay, so cooperation or inter-thread communication is a mechanism in which a thread is first running. Currently, suppose A is running, needs some resources from B or C, then A will pause its execution and it will allow other threads to enter to their critical section and execute the resource or use the resources by putting the lock on the resource. Okay, so that means there is a communication between A and B and C. So whenever B will complete its execution, it will notify A that I have completed. If you want, you can continue. So this is in, in other sense that multiple number of threads are available. They want to communicate through a common resource and some communication is going between all the threads and that is known as your inter-thread communication. So if you'll see the brief about why actually it is required, now this is required by actually JVM to allow synchronized thread to communicate with each other. Okay. Now thread is first running in its critical section and another thread is allowed to enter in the same critical section to be executed. How? That we will see through one example. Okay. So there are actually three different methods are used to achieve inter-thread communication. One is wait, second one is notify and third one is notify all. So in wait, actually the current thread, which is currently running, if it needs some resources and wait method is being called for that thread, then it will stop its execution or it will pause its execution and releases the thread, releases the resource. Okay. Now notify means when multiple number of threads are waiting for a single resource, after completion of one execution of one thread it will notify so notify means out of n number of waiting threads one of the thread will come to its critical section for execution but in the last one notify all whatever the threads are in waiting state all will be informed regarding the availability of the resource okay so how inter-thread communication is going on let's see through one example so inter thread communication in java so we'll discuss one example so before writing the program let's discuss the problem what actually we are going to implement okay so in student life normally we are dependent on our parents okay so suppose there is a common account Okay. Now balance is suppose 5,000. Okay. So 5,000 is available. Now you need to deposit some amount in your institute or for any personal work. Suppose you need 25,000. Now, whenever you are checking your balance of the account, 25, the requirement is more than the availability. So what you will do? You will wait. You will wait till what? You will wait till your parents will deposit the amount. Okay. 
so suppose your parents are depositing 30000 okay now it will become 35000 now once it will become 35000 your weight is over why because your requirement is less than the availability okay now student is also operating the same account parent is also operating the same account so that means the resource is common to both the thread student and parent but when student is accessing for suppose withdraw purpose now whatever the requirement is less than the availability so that's why student has to wait till parent is not depositing okay once parent will deposit after that you notify the waiting thread that what for which resource you are waiting for now it is available okay so now we will implement the same real time problem through example okay so suppose class bank account okay here suppose one variable is here balance equal to 5000 okay now it is that bank account is having two methods two synchronized methods one is synchronized void withdraw okay and we need to pass the amount okay clear so i am writing here let's write down with him so system dot out dot print ln before withdraw balances okay now system dot out dot print ln i want to withdraw okay now what you need to do you have to check clear what you need to check now if balance is less than the required amount okay you will put a message required amount is more than balance you have to wait till deposit okay simple so whenever i need some amount i have to check if the balance is less than the amount now i have to wait clear now what i need to do here i have to wait means the smooth running of process is being interrupted clear and that i have to write down within try catch block okay done so this is for withdraw now i am waiting clear similarly synchronized void deposit i'll pass the amount here also before deposit the balance is this much okay now once my amount will come clear yeah. i'll put a message that i am here to deposit i am ready to 
deposit okay and what will happen balance equal to balance plus amount so whatever the amount i want to deposit i'll add with the balance deposit over and now you can withdraw okay after this you have to use the method notify clear so to whom it will notify anyone who is waiting so once notify will be done clear so your balance will be more than the amount clear so your wait will be over okay now what you need to do here now you have to put a message again ready to withdraw and what will happen balance equal to balance minus amount balance after withdraw is done so two synchronized methods we have defined one is withdraw one is deposit withdraw we are passing an amount we are checking that if balance is less than amount that means i have to wait then i'll call the deposit method i'll pass some amount then i'll check i am ready for depositing so balance equal to balance plus amount once it is done i'll call the notify method so that anyone who is waiting will get the notification and will withdraw the amount okay the so class student extends thread okay class parent extends thread okay so let's write down after the main method so class test enter thread where the main method will be available okay now what you need to do here will create the object of this one okay then you will create the object of student class where ob needs to be passed then parents ob2 equal to new parents and we'll pass the object ob now ob1 dot start ob2 dot start clear now whenever i'm passing the object ob of which class bank account class okay so i'll write down the constructor ob3 equal to ob simple here i'll call the student will depo so withdraw so ob3 dot withdraw and here suppose i am uh, setting the amount 25000 Clear. So student wants to withdraw twenty five thousand. The same code I'll write down inside parent, but the only difference will come here. Parent will call deposit. 
okay same object i can keep otherwise you can change the object name also and deposits so 30000 clear so let's discuss now i am creating a single object ob of bank account class and why that object is equal because by using that object i can call the withdraw method as well as deposit method now i am passing the same object while creating the object of student class and parents class then so inside student class you will uh, define the constructor you will catch that one you will assign and inside this run method you will, you will call the withdraw method similarly for parents okay but here inside parent class you are calling the deposit method clear so let's check okay so here it will be capital p everywhere we have written p p capital okay done see before withdraw the balance is 5000 i want to withdraw required amount is more than balance so you have to wait till deposit okay so now till then after that you are waiting so now you are coming to deposit method so before deposit the balance is 5000 so now the communication is done between two threads student thread and parents thread so parents execution is currently going on so before the deposit parents is also checking that the balance is 5000 now i am ready to deposit deposit over now you can withdraw the message is going to the student again now ready to withdraw its wait method is not currently over because notify method has been called by parents and after withdraw the balance is 10000 clear so 30000 plus 5000 35000 25000 you have to withdraw so 35 minus 25 10000 is in the result okay so this is for the inter thread communication between student and parents okay and that is only possible because of wait and notify method so similarly suppose three students are waiting for the same account and parent is depositing then three students will wait because their required amount is less than the balance once parents class will deposit the amount it will use notify all so that every thread will get the message and will withdraw the amount okay so through this uh, you can understand how the inter thread communication can be possible which you can implement in real time okay so thank you everyone for watching this